Hey guys and welcome along to another video. Today's video is a GR4 race around the infamous Monza circuit. It's normally interesting around here. As part of the GT Manufacturers Cup, we're in the M4 uh, and just give you a run through the top five here. We've got Kennard, Nemzorus Rex, Herzinger, Cycle Cho and Kokkeyand. We're here in 12th, not a great lap by us, it's not our strongest circuit to be fair. And a shout out to Mr. Heppo, he is always so polite to me, always says hello. So you my friend, get a shout out. I quite enjoyed trying to pronounce the first five guys on the grid's name, so I think I'm going to do that going forward. So just about to start the race, as the Italian red arrows fly overhead. It's a really nice touch, they do it around the oval as well, it looks pretty cool. So, what is the first corner going to bring? So we're going to tuck into the slipstream of the Brit in front. And I'm really in two minds coming down this straight, I don't know if to go conservative or go aggressive. This was before the new penalty system, so I'm going to go right just before my normal braking point and it is chaos. I get smacked up the arse, end up cutting the entire corner. I'm expecting a penalty to be honest, but one doesn't arrive. So we've just gained a handful of places. So for once, we've actually come out on top from the first corner. Wonderful. Coming down into Variante, there's a guy just behind me in the Ferrari. I break a bit late on the inside and there's contact between me and the Viper. Luckily I run a bit wide so he gets the place back because of course I wouldn't let him back through. Uh, and then there's a guy at the inside, we're going to give him some room. A bit of bumping going on but not intentionally. Ferrari's still there and loads of contact. I get hit in the back. But then a fellow BMW gives me a punt and gives me all the momentum going down the straight, which gives me a run down on this Ferrari. Like, can it give me just enough room there? Can I pull it off down the outside? Some clean driving there as he doesn't fight it too much and comes out as we come through. Ascari there, and hopefully we can calm down a little bit, and try and settle into some sort of rhythm because all this bumping and messing about isn't helping anybody and you can see because the pack in front has got away. Coming into the Parabolica, the guy up ahead gets it wrong and goes a bit wide. I think he's going to recover that, not a problem. And we run down the straight to complete lap one. So as we cross onto lap two, our breaking point for this one is just as the tarmac there changes from dark to light. I actually break a little bit early to be a bit more conservative. Do not go over the curves too much, otherwise you get a penalty. Stay out the gravel on the right and power around as tight as we can around Curva Grande. You join us towards the end of the lap, just coming through a scary there and the Ferrari's got his act together and he's now in our slipstream. It's quite a long race so I'm probably not going to fight it at this point. Just try and keep everything together and if he does come past on the straight, then he comes past on the straight. No harm done. Bit slow there through Parabolica. Keep it nice and wide on the exit, keeping it as straight as possible to gain as much momentum and speed. He's in our slipstream and he's veering off. I don't know what he's doing. He's losing it, he's losing it, is he going to catch it? No, he's gone. So, that's the end of him. And relax. <sighs> what a nightmare he had. <laughs> I don't know what went on there. But never mind, onwards and upwards. We're in a much better place than we started. So we're okay and let's plow on. little penalty there. 
So guys, you join me at the end of lap six. Not much has happened to us. There's been a bit of stuff going on in front, as you can see. The guy who was in second was in, is now in fourth. So we're gonna dive into the pits and we're gonna try and chase him down. Quick in and out. And the jag is in our sights. Let's have a look down the straight. No, we're gonna be okay from a traffic point of view, I think, which is always a benefit. I always find it tricky about where to brake on this. I always find I over, over or under run it coming out of the pits. Um, but anyway, fourth place is in our sights, so let's get after it. Starting lap eight now, I had a bit of a nightmare through the Lesmo. It's just slow really, not worth showing you. So he's pulled out about half a second on me. But much quicker coming through here so we're back within eight tenths of him we're getting near the slipstream now I think we're going to be on him reasonably soon we're taking Curva Grande a little bit wider than we normally would to try and get any remnants of the slipstream pick our normal braking point at that little break in the grass the concrete and we're going to close right up on braking we're right with him now but he has had the advantage through the Degnas. The Degnas, why do I keep calling them that? That's Suzuka, the Lesmos. So we're going to try and stay with him and see if we can get him down one of the straights. Coming through to lap nine now, only two laps left. We're running out of time, and as anticipated, he's pulled away a little bit. I'm a bit better under braking, so we're going to close up again under braking. Try and get the car straightened up and on the power. Yep, and we actually make contact a little bit. He gets a terrible run out of the corner, and my safety rating takes a bit of a hit there. We were right with him, stay in the slipstream. And I know he broke much, much earlier last time round, so he might be able to try something up the inside. Under braking, we're going to try a late lunge, and we've got him. I look forward to those in the comments critiquing how clean or unclean that was. For me, yeah, it was, a, it was aggressive, but I am aggressive sometimes in this game, and I think you've got to be, so we were clearly faster than him. If you watch now, we'll begin to pull away. So all in all, I'm happy with it. Let me know in the comment section below if you thought it was clean or not. And that was about it for the action for the race guys. You join me down the back straight making my way down to the Parabolica for the final time. The Jag in fifth has dropped away a little bit to over a second now. Everyone's just kind of falling into line. We'll just get this right will come home to take fourth place which considering all the action during the race and where I started I'm happy so fourth place confirmed up eight places from my 12th little bit of luck a little bit of aggression there as well but all in all quite an entertaining race for me and with that guys it's the end of another video I hope you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and with that guys I'll see you on the next video cheers